On Capitol Hill, meantime, President Trump has taken a step towards some new gun regulations. Kip Gable has more on the announcement that he made today. Kim. The president now ordering the Justice Department to draw up regulations to ban the use of so-called bump stocks. Those survivors of the Florida massacre are demanding action, and the president now says school safety is a top priority of the White House. It was a ceremony honoring law enforcement during which President Trump made the announcement. I signed a memorandum directing the attorney general to propose regulations to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into machine guns. The new regulations are still being negotiated, but would likely ban the use of bump stocks. That's the accessory that turns semi-automatic guns into automatic weapons. Like in the Las Vegas shooting, bump stocks can be used to increase the number of rounds fired into crowds. Individual states and school districts across the country are re-examining safety initiatives. Governor Tom Wolf on KDKA Radio when asked if he would support a ban on assault weapons in Pennsylvania. I think we ought to really take a, a hard look at, at uh, assault weapons. Uh, I, I am, am open to, to a robust discussion. We cannot um, uh, shut our eyes and close our ears. We've got to have a, a discussion. And in light of the shooting in Parkland, the White House is hosting teachers and students to talk about safety. This is a listening session uh, to see what can be done better, what the actual concerns of the students are, what they would like to see. Meanwhile, the White House did not commit to further regulations, such as a full ban on assault weapons. So the president also speaking out today about gun background checks. In fact, he just tweeted a short time ago, quote, whether we are Republican or Democrat, we must now focus on strengthening background checks. We're live tonight. Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.